I'm Darren Marlar from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Starbucks' new latte is named for the husk of the coffee bean that's used to flavor it, and reading the description, it sounds tasty. Cascara is the name of a small tree of the buckthorn family that grows across the western U.S., the bark of which has for centuries been dried for use as a powerful laxative. Boy, if you didn't have a reason to avoid Starbucks before! Workers preparing for Friday's presidential inauguration have taped over the name of the company supplying portable outdoor restrooms that are bearing the name Don's John's. The Virginia-based business calls itself the Washington area's top provider of portable toilet rentals. But the name, Don's John's, well, that apparently strikes a little too close to home for inaugural organizers. Uh, yeah, excuse me, yeah, I need to use the Don's John to take a Pence pee. And a, and a Trump dump! A new study finds that blotting pizza with a napkin to remove excess grease can remove around 40 calories per slice. Plus, you then have pizza-flavored napkins, which are a great source of fiber. In Lancaster, North Carolina, 57-year-old Glenda Blackwell wanted to prove to her husband that playing the lottery is a waste of money. It's stupid. Well, he had asked her to pick up two Powerball tickets, but she grabbed a $10 Carolina Millions scratch-off for herself instead. She said, I wanted to show him that luck doesn't always hit. Well, now she's happily eating her words because she won a million bucks. Hey, hey, does this work on other stuff? Like, so you know what? I'm going to prove to my wife that asking for a raise is stupid by walking into my boss's office and asking for one. 93% of Americans surveyed say that we should retire the term fake news. No, actually, I just made that up. An Illinois man convicted of stealing a remote control from the common area in an apartment complex has been sentenced to 22 years behind bars. Now, why the severe punishment? Possibly because 35-year-old Eric Bramwell was previously fingered in other remote and TV thefts in the area. Still, though, 22 years? What? Well, that, that's about what OJ got, and he did way more than steal a TV remote. Over 90% of American households bought a pie last week. Boy, my house is running way behind on this. I have got some catching up to do. CareerCast.com has released its list of the five most stressful jobs in America. Number one is enlisted U.S. military personnel. Huh. You know, I would think the most stressful job would be the one that gets targeted by the U.S. military personnel. A Maryland public school district has fired one of its employees a week after one of her tweets for the district went viral. It seems on January 5th, a student sent a tweet directed at the Frederick County Public Schools Twitter account asking for schools to close tomorrow. T A M M A R O W. While Katie Nash, who was in charge of running the school's Twitter account, playfully tweeted back, "But then how would you learn how to spell the word tomorrow?" Well, the tweet included a smiley face and was retweeted and liked more than a thousand times. But then the district soon asked her to stop tweeting from its account, and then up and fired her. Because obviously the last thing we want to do is point out to our little snowflakes that they might be wrong about something and have an opportunity to better themselves through education. Ponzi king Bernie Madoff apparently cornered the market on prison hot chocolate. At one point, Madoff reportedly bought up every package of Swiss Miss from the commissary and sold it for a profit in the prison yard. So apparently buy low, sell high, that continues to be a winning strategy for Mr. Madoff. 30% of women in a recent survey say they won't marry a man who has a bad credit score. Meanwhile, 70% of men won't continue to date a woman who does a credit check before the first date. An Oregon man recently found a year-old $1 million winning lottery ticket while cleaning his house. He rediscovered his ticket just eight days before it was set to expire. Man, if you never had a good reason to clean your house before, you certainly do now. Watch the YouTube version of The Daily Dose of Weird News and also get more weird news at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. 
If you like what you just heard, please give this video a thumbs up and share the episode with others on your own social media to help spread the weirdness. Become a part of the Weirdo family by clicking that subscribe button, and be sure to also click that little bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. For Marlar House and DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar. <laughs>